Hi guys, Kurt Provost here, your guide to all things new skin. This is just a quick episode because no doubt you have experienced this at some point in your life when you've wandered into your local chemist or pharmacy and uh, stumbled upon that daunting aisle that is called the supplement aisle. <laughs> That's where it's floor to ceiling with jars and containers that all look very similar and are crying out with the same vitamin names. And usually it's just one vitamin that they're focusing on. Vitamin C or vitamin D or it's, it's vitamin K. There's an entire alphabet of them. So uh, take your pick. And how do you choose which one to go with? Well, first and foremost, when you're looking at two different products that say the same things and either you're going on the quantity of that ingredient within the product, which is an issue in itself because we know nothing about the bioavailability of that product. We know nothing about the um, clinical studies of that product. We know nothing about the uh, safety studies of that product, whether or not it contains heavy metals, whether or not it's, it's safe to use it long term or for the rest of your life, if there's going to be a micro dose of something that's just building up, or whether or not it has any efficacy studies, or if it's actually going to do something for you. So. In the absence of all that, because you can't read that on a label, you're just going to base it on the price, right? So the quantity of the supposed ingredient and you hope that some of that absorbs and generally we go, okay, the more that's in there, the better the chance that's going to be absorbed, which is faulty logic because that's not necessarily how the body works or how that particular vitamin works and we'll mainly base it on a price. Fair enough, you know, it's a daunting world out there and that is why New Skin doesn't sell through conventional retail models. You won't see the products on a shelf in a chemist or a pharmacy like that because who's going to pick the product that looks like it has um, maybe let's just say a little less of the key ingredients that you're looking for and maybe it's more expensive and you've never seen an ad for it before. You need someone there to explain why there is only this much of an ingredient and the reason why is because that is the minimum effective dose. That's the minimum amount that you need to get the result that you want. All the rest is waste and that waste gets passed on to you in a lower quality product and a price that is inflated beyond the value of the actual product. So here at New Skin it's different. They can reinvest that value into other high quality ingredients that are also at the minimum effective dose of what you need. So it's just the it's it's just a much more efficient way of providing your body with the nutrients or, or with the right ingredients for you. And that is why we exist to help explain this. So I didn't actually want this video to be about kind of an explanation of the business model of NuSkin, but that's what it's turned into. The key that I want to focus on here is the issue with single ingredient products in the supplement industry, because that is majority of the industry. And yet, as it turns out, there is increasing evidence that uh, vitamins just on their own, if it's just one particular vitamin, aren't necessarily the most beneficial. And that makes sense when you think about it because, well, everything is intertwined and interwoven in nature. And uh, the body doesn't just normally get one ingredient on its own. It normally comes with a collection of things. And those things usually work synergistically. They, they complement each other. A great example of this is vitamin D. No doubt you've heard about this vitamin before. We actually produce it when we go out into the sun. So whenever we're exposing our body, our skin to UVB rays, so ultraviolet B rays, then the skin begins to synthesize vitamin D. Now that is going to vary from person to person and there's a lot of different factors that will come into play on how much vitamin D actually gets thin synthesized. And that depends on your age, it depends on your skin color because uh, the more pigmentation then the, the lower the amount of vitamin D that is going to be produced. The amount of time that you spend in the sun, the location of the geographic location, where in the world are you, what season is it, all these different things come into play. Whether or not you're using sunscreen or you're taking certain medications, these things can all impact vitamin D. So you can also get it 
thankfully from your diet if you're consuming lots of uh, fatty fish, egg yolks, mushrooms, and fortified foods like uh, milk, cereals, and uh, orange juice, stuff like that. So you can get that from your diet, but most people are not getting an adequate amount, so they are supplementing, which is a, a very logical and I believe wise next step. The issue is, it turns out, and I just want to give a little disclaimer here, I am not making any claim about a new skin product, what is going to treat, cure, mitigate anything. Uh, please don't sue me. Please don't ask me to take this down. Uh, what I am talking about here are individual vitamins and information that comes off PubMed and different studies that are going on in regards to that. So the issue that has arisen is that uh, vitamin D on its own, which is known for helping to strengthen bones by helping to assist with the absorption of calcium and also with helping to strengthen the immune system as a result of uh, stimulating or activating uh, killer T cells, which are quite important in that um, immune process. So it's the calcium that, that turns out is the issue because it uh, appears that vitamin D just on its own can provide too much absorbed calcium in the wrong places, uh, turning up in soft tissue such as arteries, which creates a great risk for heart attacks, strokes, major issues. That is something we definitely do not want. It uh, seems that when pairing vitamin D with vitamin K2, which is generally found in fermented foods like um, sauerkraut, like certain cheeses, or like uh, natto that you'll see here from my time in Japan. So I'm here with Shiho, and I have a special roll that's kind of squashed. Oh my god, strong smell. It's, it's called natto. Yeah. And the reason why I have this roll is because um, it's one of the ingredients in our Y-span. Uh, formula, which we use at New Skin. I take that every single day, or I can get the benefits from eating this roll. Um, you can't smell it, but it's it's quite strong. <laughs> it's fermented tofu. Is that correct? Yeah, no, it's yeah. fermented soybean. Soybean. Fermented soybean, and it's really stringy. Just. I hope my eyes. <laughs> How about that? Not very good. <laughs> Is there a bin somewhere? There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's natto. Um, take the capsule instead. I think it's a lot better. Let's find a bin. Which is this strange fermented soybean that's uh, very good for you but does not taste very good and uh, is an unpleasant texture. But nonetheless, you can get it from those foods and liver as well. But most people are not consuming them regularly. What K2 does is it helps to deliver and direct the calcium that's being absorbed into the body. So the D3 is increasing the absorption of calcium and the K2 helps deliver that to the bones, to the teeth, to the places that it's meant to be and keeping it away from the soft tissue where we don't want it to accumulate. And that's just one example of a multitude of examples that could be given around individual vitamins that are marketed just on their own and not as part of an entire uh, synergistic system. And this is really important because the overwhelming majority of products from New Skin are provided not just one vitamin on its own. They come with a whole pairing of vitamins that work together because New Skin has a deep understanding of the fundamental biochemistry of our bodies, and that's really important. So they can create products like Y-Span or Youth, age lock Youth, depending on where in the world you are, that works harmoniously together, all the different ingredients in there. So, I mean, one of the first ingredients is you've got vitamin D3, and then you've got K2 from Natto, and then you've got Quercetin, and then you've got uh, CoQ10, and then you've got Omega-3s. All of these things are working synergistically, and there's a whole list of really important ingredients here that are helping to provide you with key nutrition so that you can get the results that you are looking for. So I hope this kind of opens up an interesting topic for you. I hope it opens your eyes to some of the pitfalls of just heading out there onto the uh, retail market and uh, browsing the aisles with 
not a clue of what to do, that's where we can kind of step in and help guide you in certain directions. Uh, you can do different tests and scans to gain more insight into what is really important for you right now and then we can guide you towards different products that may be beneficial for you all right guys that's all for today my name is kurt provost your guide to all things new skin i hope you found this interesting i hope it's been beneficial for you if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and uh, be sure to turn on the notifications to be notified next time i create a video like this and i will see you in the future guys ciao